I got UDRC here back with a vid. So today's gonna be the first run on the Team Corrali um, Spark X, um, XB6. I got it on 4S today, guys. Um, stock gear, stock everything. Got my GNS in here. Gonna see what the speed is on road with the um, with the 4S. And then hopefully I get an off-road um, speed test as well. Um, go ahead, get the first startup, guys. Keep going. For us, I got to trim out the stern and everything like that, and we will go ahead and do a little test, run around on here, to see how it runs. All right, so let's get into it. All right, guys, go ahead and do a speed test and see how it goes, guys. So I'm gonna check my range, trim it out real quick as well. So far, seems pretty smooth. Check my range, guys. doesn't seem that fast guys I think I might have turned on the brakes a little bit too much and that brakes is pretty aggressive um, yeah force is not that fast guys to be honest with you but let's you know let's get it going break the system in a little bit maybe get a little faster as we go yeah push it a little bit on road anyways with the front tires pushing the turns I did bring my temp gun today, so we'll get to see what the temps will be like. I have to trim it to the left a little bit. Right, let's see what that speed was, guys. All right, so it was 37 miles, 37 miles an hour. So I'm gonna just kind of do a makeshift little track running with it. Um, to the temps, we get up out of here, guys. Stand trim a little bit more. Depends on the temp. Depends on the temp. Um, I'll go ahead and run it on 6S and see. Yeah, definitely pushes on the um, in the turn. So it's definitely aggressive. Curious to see how it will do off road. And also, I can also I, I can gear it up as well, guys. This is a stock gearing in here, so. Makeshift track, guys. Just gotta get a hang of the characteristics of this buggy. Now, your turns in pretty sharp, guys. If you're going in hot, it will push. So I'll run around for a bit, guys, and check the temperature. Let's see how, I, how it is. I said for me, I'd like it to be a little bit faster, but again, it's just for us out the box. So you can always gear it up, run six. That depends how the temperature is. And for me, I'll um, probably turn the brakes back down one notch or so. Or well, guess you know, use the the trigger to adjust your braking pressure. Seems like it's breaking a little bit more now. You 
got to see in this. Oh, I should have brought my cones, but I forgot to have like official kind of little markers, but it's all good. One more lap and I'm gonna check the temp on it, guys. I get the temperature out the toolbox. All right, let's come check the temps real quick, guys. Need the remote. All right, so let me uh, get the body off. So we can see, guys. Timing up and everything like that as well, guys. Switch it off so you guys can see actual numbers here, guys. Sorry about that. 86, 88 is the highest there. ESC, cap packs, and all that. So, again, it's uh, only on um, 4S right now, so I could, I could probably run it on, on 6S and it'll probably be okay with, and it'll be okay with the heat. So. I'll try it also, run it on 6S with the same stock gear and everything like that and see. Um, hopefully I can find a little off-road spot, run around 4S real quick also, and then do a little 6S pass on it. So you guys hold tight. Let me see if I get a spot. Back in another location. This is a little park just to run around, just to see how it does, a little off-road grass, stuff like that. I got Janice in there to see what kind of tops you could get while we're out here. And we'll just you know, have a little fun, guys. All right. We'll try this other location, guys. Nice little fun, little, little speed pass too. All right, got a little turf action. success in this guy try it out it's gonna run around rip it a little bit guys <laughs> nice little jump right there That's nice. That is nice. I like that. Let's try that again, guys. capturing all of this guys.
back sidewalk with this little piece of grass and dirt right here. Let's see what we can do, guys. Full throttle. <laughs> I lost the antenna tube. It's one thing, this antenna tube is pretty loose, guys. So I'm just running without it for now. Should be okay, I guess. I'll put it in just in case. Let's run that back again, guys. You guys don't really see me do much jumping with my vehicles, but I don't mind using the natural terrain and stuff like that. Hopefully I got it focused and good. Full throttle. Hope you guys see that, guys. Do a couple more of those. flies nice let's get a few more of those hope I can find another spot with some natural stuff like this in it and again guys full throttle full speed Man, I hope I caught all of that have a little fun on this turns hey, I'm on the gas full throttle full throttle on the gas guys full throttle and I'm just turning full throttle right now I spun out but I mean it it's running pretty good guys all right so I've been running the car for a while I'm gonna try here to see if I speed it up off road my battery isn't fully charged but I'm going to at least let it run the motor has not been getting hot on forest stock gear. I don't even know the abuse I've been doing so far. Um, I'm starting to really like the 4S. I mean, I, I would like to gear it up a little bit, or I will still try it on 6S to see how that goes, but so far there's no motor heat on it, guys. So 
we're doing pretty good with this setup. All right, again, my first time running the stock um, Team Crowley system in it. It's been doing pretty good so far. No heat issues on 4S stock gear. Let's see what speed that was. All right, so that was 32 miles an hour um, on this soccer field here. 32 miles an hour, guys. I'm looking for some natural terrain where I got some jumps and stuff. So let's see the other way. Yeah, not much, not much of a jump. Real nice, guys. Real nice. That was a bit of a tumble. All right, let's see. Up and scroll. We'll do one or two more jumps. Maybe the battery's starting to die a little bit, but let's see, guys. Yep, she's still jumping. Hopefully it's clear. The steering is a little bit off right now, but nothing too hateful. Yeah, I think I'm back. It's time to get a little low, guys. I'm pushing my luck. All right, guys, so I'm going to call the day with the uh, Team Corelli Spark. It's the first run on 2S, then the on-road and off-road. Definitely it shines off-road, but I just want to kind of see how it does on-road as, well as well with these stock tires. But off-road, guys, the way it is, it hooks pretty good in the turns. Um, for me, I like it to be a little faster out the box. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm running again. I'm running with 6S, hopefully get a 6S battery to fit in here. I'm not running with 6S, and then from there, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gear it up. Depends on if the 6S heats up, I will I will put it back on 4S and then gear it up. So, you know, that's basically that sort of thing. But I will give the 6S run, guys. I'll try to come back out here again uh, just to run it and see how it does with 6S in the same environment. Uh, right now, there's definitely no heat on it at all. I didn't have my temp gun. I used my hands. Definitely no heat. So, again, the grass was pretty low over here, and it ran pretty good. The second location. So, again, very impressed with it. Again, stock gear and stock system. So far, no overheating. So far, so good. Um, based on how I run, it's uh, it's working. It is working. So, for me, I want it to be a little bit faster. And I think I'll be set right there. So again, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.